In Genesis 1, verse 26, it says, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Well, you have to cooperate with God, though. What image do you have of yourself? What likeness do you have of yourself when you think about you? There has to be a new and complete picture in you, in your free will of your image of you, in order for the image and likeness of God to come through. Think about the following idea. And they will give you a new picture of yourself to project on the screen of your own inner mind. First, say to yourself, I am loved and needed. That's a biggie, isn't it? I am loved and needed. Say it with me right now. I am loved and needed. Say this, God created me to be a part of God's world. God created me to be a part of God's world. And God needs me to fulfill a special purpose in God's divine plan. God needs me to fulfill a special purpose in God's divine plan. And then make the following ideas a part of your mental picture. I am not alone. Always God is with me. It feels good, doesn't it? I am not alone. Always, every second of every day, every night, God is with me. God is within me as strength and light and power. God's Spirit lifts me up and out of any daily depression or negation. God's light shines in my mind and quickens a new spirit, a new understanding, and a new awareness in me. And complete the picture by affirming I have within me all that I need to live a life successfully and to be the kind of person I long to be, the kind of person I know in my heart I can be. I have God's own spirit in me. I have been created in God's image and after God's likeness. Say this with me. I have within me all that I need to live life successfully and be the kind of person I long to be. The kind of person I know in my heart I can be. I have God's own spirit in me. I have been created in God's image and after God's likeness. And I say amen, and that means in first century Christianity, and so it is.